Today, I am a CX postman, but tomorrow I shall be a CX publisher. The subject of that kind of cute little message is actually what we're gonna talk about today, um, because I think it's important. I think it might be the most important aspect of the you know, customer experience discussion uh, for people to be having today. Hey everyone, welcome back to 40 Billion Reasons. I'm Max Israel. This week is the this is the end of a pretty long week for me, actually. Uh, I saw many of you in Miami uh, where I was presenting for the patient experience program put on by IQPC. That was awesome. Uh, and then uh, and then also I saw a bunch of you at uh, Next Gen CX in Phoenix, which was also cool. If you were anywhere near those events, if you were like within 100 miles of those events, you saw all kinds of people walking around with two things. They had a copy of our book, Design Driven Feedback. And I got to tell you, that, that just warmed my heart to see people sitting around at the break reading the book. That was really, really, really special for me. Uh, but then you also saw people walking around with swag bags with our messaging on them. And this is what those bags were. Today, I am a CX postman, but tomorrow I shall be a CX publisher. And the, the subject of that kind of cute little message is actually what we're going to talk about today, um, because I think it's important. I think it might be the most important aspect of the you know, customer experience discussion uh, for people to be having today. Here's what I mean. We in the world of customer experience, when I think about CX initiatives, the people who lead those things, uh, guys like me, guys and gals like me who run the software companies, who, uh, who are your vendors and who help, uh, who help build out that infrastructure. We have been operating for a lot of years under a false premise. And that premise is that we are kind of like the mailman, like the postman. We, uh, we collect data here and then our job is done when we deliver it there. And that uh, you may recall a few weeks ago uh, in, I think it was episode three, I shared an example of when that went tragically wrong and how that could hurt, that manner of thinking could hurt an organization. I, I shared the story of the pudding cup, a hospital chain where, uh, where they were asking for feedback in kind of an old school way and a patient who had, uh, who had been in for uh, surgery. For, she, she had breast cancer and she was getting treatment and that involved some surgery. And she had a moment where she was just overwhelmed with fear. She was in her room and she was overwhelmed with fear and panic. And a, and a nurse did something really, really wonderful. She uh, saw what was happening and instantly responded by giving, you know, reaching over to the food cart and giving her a pudding cup. Uh, and then she squeezed her shoulder and said, hey, listen, enjoy the pudding. Uh, and I gotta tell you, you're gonna be okay. We're gonna take care of you. And in that moment, this patient just really felt better. She felt reassured. It was just wonderful. But everything went to hell as soon as uh, the hospital asked for feedback about that patient's experience because the patient kind of filled out like one of these press gainy surveys or something and checked out the, checked a bunch of boxes mechanically. And in the comments, she wrote, thanks for the pudding cup, right? And when that found its way to the nurses, they were repulsed. I mean, they were just really offended. They cared for this woman, sat with her, watched over her all night and taking care of her. And the only comments they got back were thanks for the pudding. And the pudding was great or something in hand like that. And it made them feel, feel completely trivialized. What happened there? What happened was that the hospital and the, uh, the people involved with getting feedback thought of themselves like postmen. They said, I just have to collect some data. I don't care how good the data is or whether or not it has a story, a real human story being told in it, and I just have to deliver it and then my job's done. What we need you to do and what we think the future of our industry really requires right, is pushing the boundaries of both of these things out. And there's actually a really good model for this. The model is publishing. Think about your favorite newspaper or magazine, right? Because what did the publisher have to do? The publisher had to do two things, two things very successfully. Just like the mailman, the publisher needs to know that data exists, right? They need to collect the data, but they have to go beyond that. The publisher's gotta get the story, the scoop, right? The story, they have to get people to open their hearts and their minds. And a good publisher, if they're lucky, they have journalists who are well-informed, 
well-trained, resourceful, uh, probably charming, right? Probably that too. And they're able to go out and get us to open up and really divulge what happened and how that made us feel. And of course, if you know me or you've known my company for more than about five minutes, you know, we're firm advocates uh, of this idea that we should all be applying design thinking, creativity, design to the process of fielding surveys so that they're just more human. They draw out the story instead of thinking of them as an exercise in applying a web form. Okay, once they've got the story, they actually need to do something just like the mailman, just like the postman. They need to deliver the data, um, but they have to go beyond that. The mailman's job is done once data is delivered, but the publisher has to make sure the data engages, right? Think about your favorite newspaper or magazine. I promise you that publisher thought very hard about you. And once they knew about you, they made all kinds of decisions about article subject, article style, article length, copywriting style, photo style, and on and on and on. And if they were successful, uh, then they got you to engage. You actually pay to engage. You'll buy the magazine, right? That idea of going from being a postman to a publisher is so important because the critical failing of our industry and of so many CX initiatives is that they fail to really engage the front line. They really fail to engage employees everywhere. Getting to the employee is so important. Several weeks ago, I was listening to Jean Bliss's podcast, The Human Duct Tape Show. She was interviewing uh, Charlie Heron, who's uh, Vice President of Customer Experience at Comcast. And he said something really spot on. He said, you know, if you read a customer experience book now, but certainly in the, in the coming years, chapter one will be about the employee, right? And I think that he's right. We need to look at how we can use design-driven tools and design thinking to go from just distributing data to employees and just assuming that we can kind of push data out throughout the organization according to the management hierarchy and assume that everybody is equally interested in reading it, they're not, um, is we have to address that. We have to change our way of thinking on that and start thinking like a publisher. Uh, in the sense that we're understanding what is important to these employees at an individual level and then curate content to them. We actually look at a couple of publishers and I, I talk about one in the book, uh, Henry Luce, founder of Life magazine. Uh, and then in some of my presentations, I talk about someone who was a real hero of mine, uh, Cy Newhouse Jr., publisher of the Condé Nast uh, magazine Empire. And look at, look at how those magazines um, go from just delivering data to really selling the story. I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples right here. Um, you'll look at uh, Outside Magazine, for example. What is it that you think is important to this reader? It's, it's pretty clear, isn't it? And by targeting in not just the type of story, but the way they write about it, uh, they're making sure that you engage. Um, another example is Cosmopolitan. Frankly, for me, uh, as a father of a 20-year-old daughter and uh, just as a man in general, this just scares the living daylights out of me. But you can see Cosmopolitan knows exactly what their readers want. She, uh, she wants news on what's trendy, what's fashionable. She has a lot of questions about love and sex and wants no bullshit answers to those things. And they deliver that and they've been doing it very, very successfully for a very long time. I cannot overemphasize this. If you are just distributing information, you're setting yourself up for failure. What you need is not that people just get actionable information. What you need is that people are thinking about the stories you're telling them on the drive home and they can be inspired by it, they can be troubled by it, that's fine too, as long as they're feeling something. Your job, if you're in head of CX, is not to distribute data. You are not a mailman. Your job is to get people thinking deeply about the story that you told them day in and day out because once they're thinking about it, they'll change their behavior and they'll change their entire way of thinking. And that is how you become truly customer-centric. Until next week, thanks guys.